Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel where the fun never ends with Mandela Effects. Uh, I got a couple of them for you here. Um, actually, it's almost like a two for. Okay, two for one special. We got uh, Scarab Performance. This is a combination of his video and uh, I got to do a shout out. Scarab Performance and uh, Lone Eagle for their two videos. Uh, you can, I, I, uh, you'll find the link to their uh, videos down below in the description, okay? Um, but I think the main credit for the Silver Beetles uh, probably goes to Party Puppy, I think is what Scarab mentioned here, okay? I think I got you on this one. The so, Silver uh, Beetles. The Silver Beetles, right? Genuine Silver Beetles, 1956 to 1963. 1956 to 1963. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy, guys. What will they think of next, right? So, uh, just a little tidbit on the Silver Beetles. This is on the Beatles Wiki, okay? The Silver Beatles was one of the earlier band names before the Beatles. John Lennon wanted a name that sounded English. So he wanted the Crickets, but Paul McCartney laughing said, I think that's already taken. Uh, was It says here, was Stuart Sutcliffe who suggested they call themselves the Beatles with the E-E, -E, right? John liked it, but quickly changed it to the B the Beatles, right? B-E-A-T-A-L-S. And then to the Beatles with a B E A. Remember, it's B E A T L E S because it had the word beat, B E A T. So the Silver Beatles was the name that stayed with them for most of the Hamburg tour. How many of you guys have honestly, honestly out there can say that uh, the Silver Beatles was in existence? Uh, I asked my parents, uh, they don't remember. I've asked quite a few people actually, uh, they're not remembering it either. Um, uh, just just to give us a, a mention here to Scarab's video, 79 thumbs up, 9 thumbs down. That means that many people remembered it or, or did not remember it, so it's an effect. That's what that means. Uh, Beth Shaw here says, uh, Scarab Performance, never heard of them. I have another change if you're interested, okay? And then they talked about Caramello or Carmelo. Um, let's see. Yeah, so just just to name off a, a couple of good comments from that video there. Uh, and then we have another interesting subject, and Lone Eagle brought this to light the other day. Uh, apparently John Lennon from the Beatles had an adultery pact, according to uh, DailyMail.com. In this reality, uh, John left Yoko Ono. For a year of reckless debauchery, he told her you must take a lover too. Um, I don't remember that happening, um, and neither does Ty. I spoke with Ty last night about it before we did the live show, and uh, pretty much they they stayed married. You know, they didn't they didn't um, split apart or anything. It would have been all over the news at that time. Uh, this is back in the '60s. All right. Uh, let's see. So during their first four years together as a couple, John Lennon and Yoko Ono spent virtually every minute of every day together. Though they continued to accelerate each other on a creative level, their physical relationship inevitably uh, inevitably uh, lost some of its initial blaze. Uh, John's sex, his drive, okay, uh, remained a as intense as ever. But Yoko was finding herself less able or inclined to deal with it. See, you can you guys can read this article on the uh, Daily Mail UK. This is really just to get the information out there, guys. It's not mainly a, like a residue video, per se. Uh, not like we normally do them. Uh, okay, so apparently... Um, okay, so they often discussed their hunger for each other that had been so easy to indulge when he was on the road with the Beatles. He expected to go away when he hooked up with Yoko, but it hadn't. I don't understand, he would tell her. Uh, I don't understand it. I'm madly in love with you, but why do I still keep looking at girls in the street? Okay, apparently he wasn't just looking in New York where they lived. Uh, they were, it says here they were invited to a party at the home of uh, Richard, uh, let's see, left-wing activist Richard Nixon's re ex reelection to the White House. I don't want to keep, I don't want to like, because um, this stuff could change, and then it could change my wording. You know what I'm saying? So, um, um, the, the thing about it is, the girl that um, he ended up having an affair with, and this should have been like big news, right? 
uh, celebrities back then. Um, I don't think they would have covered it up. May Pang. Uh, uh, her name, her full name is May Fung Yi Pang. Okay. Uh, it was the former girlfriend of John Lennon. Uh, and that's spelled uh, L-E-N-N-O-N. -N, okay. Just in case that changes. Uh, also. Um, okay. So she, apparently she was a personal assistant and production coordinator uh, for Lennon and his wife Yoko Ono. Now, here's what happened. Actually, in 1973, when Lennon and Ono separated, Pang and Lennon had a relationship that lasted over 18 months. This is the key here, 18 months. During a time which Lennon later referred to as his lost weekend, uh, Pang subsequently produced two books about their relationship, a memoir called Loving John. What? No. What? In 1983, there was a book called Loving John, and this is based on their love affair. Oh my gosh. You guys see that? And then the book of photographs, Instamatic Karma, uh, 2008. So Pang was married to producer Tony Visconti from 1989 to 2000 and has no children. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the, uh, he, um, that was their lost weekend when Lennon and, and Pang hooked up, uh, 1973 apparently. So I have to be mindful. Some of the Beatles albums may be in the process of changing. Uh, I know Life Matrix has done a couple of videos where um, like some, some new albums were popping up from, I, I think it was The Doors or something like that. So there's, there's all these new things popping up, it seems out of nowhere. Uh, Okay, that's, I'm going to save that one for another video. Um, but this, yeah, this one was to cover both grounds here of Scarab's video and uh, Lone Eagle's video. Not so much a residue video. If you want the residue, guys, uh, please check out their videos. Again, thanks for checking me out. Have a great Mandela Effect night. God bless.